guys, so I have to record again because some error just happened. No, I don't want to do a locomotive turntable today. We'll just go back to our Zoom save game. What? So in today's video, we're gonna we're gonna make some funny moments and, and some and some train crashing and some train driving. Try to go really fast so it can derail. Oh, it's squeaking. Don't worry. They're not squeaking anymore. I'm trying to make I'm trying to make a trendy work trendy railhead. But things didn't go well. Yes, our first train crash. Now let's make another train crash from our resume save game. Let's try to make another one. Let's try to make another one, okay? Okay guys, let's try to make another one. I found out in, in one of my videos. Go so check that video out. When you see that the containers are actually see through. This time we're gonna pass all the four train cars. That's a bit funny. <laughs> okay, so that didn't work. Let's try another way. It's not gonna be these two train cars right here.
Yes, another one. Okay, I don't already play. So, we're gonna do another derailment. You got you. You guys can also do the same thing if you want to. If you have this game. Let's, let's take the, the A8260 train. Make a derailment at the turntable. Try and make a turntable derailment. Let's see if we could do it. Yes, we did it again. Let's do another one. Okay. Let's see if we could get this this time. Those CSX locomotives there, I'm not gonna ride in those. But see, I want these ones over here. And here's some blue, here's four blues and two reds. I'm gonna take these locomotives. I'm gonna take these ones. And the headlights on even though it's not night. I don't need the lights on. Because it's daytime, not night. Try to catch up to those cars over there. Actually, I'm just gonna skip those. I'm not gonna get those cars. So I'm gonna do a, a, a very long test run here. I wanna see if this train can derail at a speed of 100 mph. So that's the experiment we're gonna do. Oh, the number doesn't show here. Let's 
to long run until we until we go to the end of the map. It's going around forty MPH. What is this? Those cars again. I don't want to pick them up. Also, there's way too many cars. I can't stay with it. It's free to play, there's nothing wrong. Come on, these game developers. I'm sorry guys. I have to stay away from Congo on terminal, but I don't know if this train can derail at a super high speed of 100 MPH. So after that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride the train all the way back. If not, then this scenario thing will fail. Oh no, there's red lights. Better stop. I need to, I need to get my emergency brakes. I don't see how fast this thing can be alone without another one. Oh no! I have to stop! Emergency now! Okay! Actually... Just put it back to release. There's a car there, but it's not moving. What? <laughs> I had to restart because I failed. It's the only place where I could be over here. That was a that was a super funny moment.
These cars. CCSX. I don't want to ride that 254 locomotive. wrong how do we start okay let's see how long 17 minutes and 10 seconds. Eighty-two sixty local again. What is this train doing here? I'm just gonna go back to the main menu. Let's see, level four. Level seven. Welcome to your first day on the Bakerloo line of the London Underground. Here you'll be taken through. Still don't know how, so I went back here. The 1972 tube stop that operate on this line. I don't know how to drive this train still. During this session, you'll be taken through the startup procedure, critical driving controls, and passenger operations at several stations. Head over to the indicated train and climb aboard to get started. I know everything.
Oops. I got on the wrong train. My bad. My bad. I accidentally did that. It was my bad. I accidentally went on the train. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending. I didn't mean to go on the wrong train. The direction selector determines the direction of travel. This train features a computer. Set the brake as indicated. Train is now ready to deploy. Set the direction selector and apply power to begin. Apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable and safe stop. Take a quick glance at the platform to ensure... Time to get going. Sit. Train is now ready to depart. Set the direction selector and apply power to begin. The next station on the line is Kilburn Park, where we will perform a passenger stop. Hey. I don't see we Coburn Park here on the destination in some line. Apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable and safe stop. Okay, let's do some comfortable and safe stop. Take a quick glance at the It's time to get going. Set the doors to locked. I know it's time we're going, but I want to do something. Fix the monitors first before leaving. Before leaving, I want to fix some the monitors.
This one's already fixed. Proceed to the next stop at Maida Vale unguided this time and see how you get on. I don't see the mo I don't I don't see it. Let's put back to Alfred and Castle. Oh no. Good work. That concludes all of the basics of operating this train. I went outside. Oh no. Welcome to your first day. I don't need to I I don't need to restart. I don't need to replay. It's it's, it's fine. Let's see. Okay, training and then Coal loading, loading is a common occurrence, occurrence on Sandpatch Grade, so, so we better, better take, take a look at how to do it. To engage the loading process, the train must be moving at a constant rate and not exceeding the speed limit. In order to move the train very slowly, this I'm set up the train is fitted with speed control. This is located on the integrated function display. There we go. That's okay.
I'm just gonna replay. Coal loading, loading is a common occurrence, occurrence on Sandpatch Grave. Grave. So, so we better, we better take, take a, look a look at how to do it. it. To engage the loading process, the train must be moving at a constant rate and not exceeding the speed limit. In order to move the train very slowly, this locomotive is fitted with speed control. This is located on the integrated function display. Coal coming out of there. This is a special duty Type 40 locomotive built by the Electromotive Division of General Motors. Known as an SD40-2, this locomotive is one of the most successful designs of all time. A 16-cylinder diesel-electric motor provides a stopping 3,000 horsepower. First off, walk over to the locomotive as indicated. Open. To take it. Safety always comes first on the railroad. So to start with, we need to let those around us know this locomotive is operational. Begin by turning the forward headlights control to bright. To the left is the auto brake. We're about to move, so make two blasts of the horn to alert anyone around. Now add some power, but not too much. Too much power too soon can damage both the locomotive This place looks so empty. You're moving. Great work. To maintain a constant speed, Move the throttle back to its idle position. That concludes the basic engineer training on this locomotive. So let's bring it to a stop.
I already know this already, but I just want to see. Welcome to SimWorld 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. I already know. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen <laughs> and count towards your overall experience. I already know this. I, I don't, you don't need to welcome me, I already know. Observant of the surrounding world. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them. Climb aboard and take a seat in the cab with the engineers for a short ride. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now, and then return to the game when ready. Bro, great crossing. A lot of time will be spent operating trains. So when ready, sit in the engineer's seat. A heads-up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse, and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. This train is ready to go. Pull the indicated handle all the way back to get moving. Grade offers the ability to operate powerful and heavy freight trains on one of America's most stunning and famous railroads. You are currently riding an AC 4400 CW locomotive. These are the workhorses of trains operating over the Sand Patch Grade, with CSX Transportation having more than 600 in its roster.
Train Sim World allows you to ride and drive trains from a selection of internal and external camera angles. Let's take a look now by exploring the exterior of this train. You can change between internal and external camera views by pressing the right stick. You've only explored a small area here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Crossing the Allegheny Mountains, the Sand Patch Grade is a vital link in the sprawling CSX rail system. Master the controls of powerful American freight locomotives operating out of the vast Cumberland Yard facility. Whether the sun is shining, there's a rain shower. I just wanted to see this again. It's up to you to Because I actually the rail skipped it last time. Your way over one of the steepest railroad grades on the East Coast. Along the way, don't forget to place safety posters, collect lost hard hats, put up no trespassing signs and fix broken snow markers. Welcome to the Sand Patch Grade. I also want to see this again. Welcome to Train Sim World 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. <gasps> oh, I was close, I was got hit by a train. Fix your monitor. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out.
A lot of time will be spent operating trains. So a heads up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. I don't see it. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate. I want to go back. Wait a minute, what? Excuse me. Look at this grandpa. <laughs> That's so cool. Some awkward space, I don't know.